This is the new Pokemon 151 Ultra Premium Collection Box, and it's quite possibly the most anticipated Pokemon product of 2023. The boxes retail for $120, and right on the front is an amazing artwork of Mew. And what makes these boxes so special is that there are multiple artworks of special illustration rares that are exclusive to this box. And on top of all that, there's a gold medal card of Mew inside. Now, I also wanted to let you know that I'm going to be giving away one sealed Ultra Premium Collection Box to one subscriber. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, all I have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. All right, so we have this massive, amazing box, the Ultra Premium Collection box. This is the third one that Pokemon's done. And, like, I can't even fit this thing on the screen, but I'm so excited to be able to open this up with you guys. You have no idea. This is honestly like a once-a-year type thing for us because, basically, they drop these once a year. It started off with the uh, Celebrations box that was two years ago. Then they had the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection box, and now they have the 151, which is kind of like nicknamed the Mew Ultra Premium Collection box, I would think, because there's literally a giant Mew on the front. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking, and I'm just going to dig into this thing. And, uh, dude, let's, let's crack this open, man. These are always so crazy. They truly are really premium once you actually open it up. Even just unboxing it and just the box itself is super premium and how it's set up. All right, here we go. Plastic is off. Now, a lot of times when you take this outside piece off, you could see some even more like different artwork inside. And yeah, you can definitely see they have all the different Pokemon there. But this time it's a white background and it's all sort of in like this really cool silver reflective design. It looks amazing. This thing just looks better and better as we keep going here. Oh my God. All right, all right. We're gonna, we're gonna open this up. How do we even, whoa, they changed it completely how you open this thing up. Hold up. What? I gotta change cameras here. Like, normally it was like this drawer that pulls out. This looks like the top just pops up. So I guess we'll just look at this together um, at the same time. Woo! Hold up. Oh, dude, you can see everything. Wait, what? Oh, no. One of the cards fell. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. How do we do this? All right, we got to stand up for this one. Here we go. Here we go. Fully now. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that, dude. Oh, I hope you guys can see it. But it's literally just fully on display here. You just pop it open and everything kind of just shows like just all at once. And then, oh, that piece comes out. All right, we're going to save this for a little bit. These are the exclusive cards. All right, uh, where do we start? So I guess we'll just dive in. Maybe we'll, we'll go to this, this piece right here. Yeah, let's take this out. There's so many goodies. Okay, so for starters here... You get this. Everything is different. All the packaging is so different. Honestly, it feels a little cheaper, though, because you don't have those cool drawers and stuff. But it, it's still really nice. Um, but let's start off with this coin because this caught my attention right away. This really cool jumbo sparkly Mew coin looks so good. It's purple. It's got, like, all this glitter sparkle action going on. It's a Pokemon on the back. Really nice coin in there. Let's keep going, though. Uh, we, of course, have our status counters here, which are pretty typical. But I just like how they're kind of just... They're kind of just nicely like displayed in this little piece of plastic or whatever. So you have those. Then we have some of these dice. And actually, um, wow, they're really nice. They're pink. The text is white on them. Let me take these out real quick so you guys can see them. But yeah, these are the dice you get in here. They're really nice. I mean, they're not like metal or anything, honestly. So I do think that they might have actually cheaped out on some of this stuff and, and actually cut costs. Because I would assume like metal dice and stuff like that. I could, I could tell this packaging is like more like cardboard type not really as like sturdy and and like as nice as the other previous two but we'll see i mean let's see what else we got in here so this is the deck box man i love the colors on this it's like kind of like a rainbow pattern with all different colors for the pokemon let's get this opened up here and see it's cool because like on the outside here you can see it's all silver and then when you move to the inside it kind of gets all that different color in there um just like little touches like that if i can get this open today that would be amazing like tape on this thing that goes all around it there you go pokemon on the top has that cool color scheme as well finally got it out let's see there we go there should be some dividers inside of this too um so yeah this actually has a really nice finish we'll pop that open and then we'll check it out there's actually only one divider in here um it has the same sort of style but dude there's charizard right there you got all the ogs you got gyarados um so that thing is pretty nice for a deck box Ooh. okay let's see what how many packs are in this thing there's so many. Oh, my God. Wait, this is just half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's move to this left side here. We got another 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 packs. There's a lot of packs in here. That is solid. And then, um, oh, is this what I think it is? Hold up. Hold up. Can I get it? 
Yo, okay, this is actually probably one of the coolest parts about a UPC is the play mat, and I can already tell this one's gonna be sick. And I just wanna show you guys this. Uh, so yeah, basically like the inside Scarlet 151, you can still reuse this to actually store cards and stuff. It's it's nice. It's not it's not as nice. It's not as like quality wise. They definitely cut some costs on these UPCs for sure, but it's still really beautifully designed. We're gonna look at these cards. There's the three cards on here in just a second, but let's check the playmat out. Alright, playmat is coming out. Let's check this thing out and see how it looks. So I can already tell there's Mew on here. And then so we have the Pokemon. They seem to be more silver. No, wait, actually it's gonna change to different colors. Mew's on Oh dude, stop it. This right here is the definition of 151. Mew on the front on the top of this playmat with all the other 150 Pokemon right here. This thing looks really, really good. Here's another top-down view over it. You can see Scarlet 151 on the top there. Pokemon on the bottom left. And you got Mew right there. And I like how it's off-centered, too. That's pretty sick. We gotta put our packs on top of this playmat. Uh, but first, we gotta check out the card. All right, let's do them one at a time. We'll start with this one on the left here. Slowly reveal them all. So this one is one of three. Remember, these are all exclusive. If you want these cards, you got to buy this thing, or I mean, if you could just buy them loose off of somewhere, uh, somebody that sells them loose. But if you want to actually get these from an official Pokemon product, you have to buy the UPC. And they put some big hitters in because these were cards that were normally in the Japanese 151 set. They cut them from the main part of the English, put them in the UPC. Here we go. Card number one. Oh, my God. The Mewtwo. Dude, with Mew and Mewtwo in the same product. You have this absolutely just, like, if I talk about top cards from 151, this is a top 10 card to me. Easily. This Mewtwo looking over the entire city, man. Unbelievable. Like, just gives you that full feel of, like, Mewtwo. Like, kind of feels like your Mewtwo just floating up there on top of the city looking down. Like, that is an amazing artwork right there. Like, really, really good artwork. This thing is insane. Okay, let's look at the next card. But actually, I'm going to go on this right side here because the one in the middle is going to be a metal card which they normally do on these UPCs. Uh, and this one, ugh, it's going to be nice. So this actually has a code card in here too. Um, all right, here we go. UPC is really like, a, it, it feels like the pinnacle of like products that Pokemon releases. It just has everything. It has tons of packs. It's got exclusive play match, exclusive, really nice exclusive promo cards, metal cards, like all oh, the coins, the, the, the deck box, like the, the display, it, it has it all. Like this is the product. If you want a really awesome collectible product, this is it right here. The Ultra Premium Collection Box. All of them have been amazing. All right. Here we go. I can't believe we're already on to our third Ultra Premium Collection Box. Oh, my God. So this one right here actually has the texture. The Mewtwo, I don't think, has texture to it. No, it does not. It's like an illustration rare, even though it definitely looks like a special illustration. It's that good. This is a special illustration rare, and it's turned into a Black Star promo. It's me. Oh my god, dude. I don't even have to explain this card to you. It looks so good! Bro, this is some amazing artwork. This is a throwback to the original Pokemon. This is. I love to see this stuff. Pokemon is doing it right when they have a product released like this thing. Like, it just can't beat this, man. You get so. Like, you already get guaranteed amazing stuff when you buy this product. Like, right off the bat. Just amazing cards here. The Mew and Mewtwo, like. They go, they just go together. It's amazing. But here we go. There's one more card. We're going to open all these packs up as well, but there's one more exclusive card you get in here. Possibly, I don't know if I'm going to say it's the coolest card, but it's definitely the most unique one, and it might be the coolest one. I don't know. How do I get it out, though? This is the one that fell out. Uh, okay, it, it, it's... I guess you just pull it out like that. You got to kind of be... Uh, like that? Hold on. There we go. Oh, yeah, I guess like that. And this is the Gold Mew... That was in the main set, but that is right. This is a metal. This is 100% metal right here. Um, and actually, it looks like, <laughs> dude, the card is like peeking out the top of this one that I have anyway. But yeah, you got Pokemon Classic there as a card, and it actually has some depth to it. You can kind of feel it like on the side of the card and everything. But it's a it's a gold Mew. Um, Definitely not as like vibrant as a normal card, but I guess it might be a little more difficult to get like ink and stuff on this I have no idea how it works, but it looks sick. It feels amazing and the quality actually looks really good I hope these are able to be graded because uh, this would actually this seems like a lot better quality Than the ones that they did the first time with celebrations. They were like 
like flaking and chipping and bad. This actually looks way better besides that thing popping out the top there. The quality on these actually feels way better. It looks way better. It actually looks almost perfect besides this top piece coming off the top there. And yeah, you can put these in a, in a um, penny sleeve. You can put them in a card saver. I'm 100% grading those three cards. I would love to add those to my collection. They're just... Man, that's amazing. That just looks so good. Now, besides all that, we get to see what we could pull out of these 16 151 booster packs. Um, and honestly, there's a really lot of good cards in this set. I'm still trying to complete my binder. So if we do pull one of those three cards that we need, I would love to just throw them in from this. The three cards that were missing, I believe, were the Venusaur Full Art, Daisy's Help. There was one more, and I can't remember which one it was. It wasn't a gold card. It wasn't a special illustration rare. Oh, it was a regular illustration rare. It's the Pikachu. The regular illustration rare Pikachu. There's three cards we need. There's Daisy's Help as a regular reverse. Needle King Hollow. But yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, if I pull... If I could pull one of those three today, that would be nice because I still do want to try to complete this binder. But uh, if I could just get one more now, just like casually, and then just be down to two, that would be that would be great. You two regular hollow, but it goes perfect. All right, let me know what you guys think. I got to say, anytime a set comes out and there's a UPC, it automatically becomes the best product for this at, for the actual set. I don't know why I'm doing a pack trick on this. It's just one to the front. But um, yeah, I mean, like, dude, the UPCs, celebrations, UPC was the best product for that. Uh, the Charizard UPC, technically, I guess it was a bunch of different sets together, but that was still one of the best products last year as well. Uh, I, I think. And then this one takes the cake as, oh, man, this might, I think this is probably my favorite product of the year. I mean, UPCs just, they hit everything. They're collectible. They got insane, amazing, like, exclusive items. Not just one or one or two. Like, there's many exclusive items in these things. They got a really great theme. And we got a Mew to go with this. How cool is that? The Mewia and the Psychic Energy. What the heck's happening? Yo, I've noticed with these two, the amount of swirls on these is actually unreal. There's one, two. I've seen some with a whole bunch before. Uh, like just, just, just everywhere. Uh, there's another YouTuber, uh, Corruption, actually, does Pokemon card openings. And uh, he sent me a photo of one of his energies that he pulled. And it was like, I think it was like four or five swirls. Pretty insane to see stuff like that. Um, but all right, here we go. We got a Mew EX. Can we follow it up with something else that we need for our set here, for our binder? That's what it is, though. Once you get to the end of the year, fourth quarter. Oh, it's literally the first day of the fourth quarter here of the year, and we're dropping this uh, UPC. This is exactly it. Fourth quarter. Why am I doing that? Fourth quarter of the year has the best products. We've already opened up a bunch because they usually come out earlier. We opened up like three or four exclusive. Uh, new products that you know, like come out at the end of the year and they're only going to drop more i know gamestop usually gets a ex really cool exclusive item they got the pokemon uh tcg um like high-end like boxes i'm gonna we're gonna open up one of those on the channel they're really expensive and i don't know we'll get we'll see how they look though oh man we're so close to daisy bill's transfer i think that's like one or two cards off where are you daisy give me one of the three that we need i need to complete this set right now i need to UPC, give us one. Come on, Gengar. Okay. Let me know if you guys are going to be picking up one of these. And again, make sure you enter the giveaway today. I am giving out one of these to a subscriber. And then uh, for the giveaways, remember, just check the live screen, stream descriptions. If I could talk every other Tuesday is where the winners are announced. Do not answer any of those weird Telegram, PokeRev. They're all fake accounts. Uh, don't answer anybody. Gengar and Weezing. I always like to mention that as much as I can. And no matter how many times I mention it. There's still a ton of people that will not know, so I just just always try to put it out there. Uh, giveaways just in the description every other Tuesday live stream. That's where you look. That's where you find them. <laughs> Blastoise! Nice! Blastoise EX looks pretty sick. Um, yeah, and I got to say, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to... I think uh, the EXs look better now. Because I remember the Japanese versions of the EXs were like more vibrant. I think these are actually... They're a lot better than they used to be for English, I, I think. It's hard to tell because I've been looking at them like not like, you know, we're just opening Scarlet and Violet nonstop lately for all the new sets that drop and um, believe they're nicer now, nicer quality. All right, we have four more packs of 151. You get 16 packs. You get three amazing artwork illustrations and one of them's a gold card. You get all the other exclusive things like the coins, the deck box, the play mats really cool product Articuno it's definitely pricey the one thing I am wondering though is okay celebrations UPC when they dropped it that was during 
the craze of Pokemon, everybody um, opening cards. They did not make nearly enough of those anyway on top of that. So the UPC the Celebration ones are still, I think, really expensive. The Charizard ones are cheap. I think last time I looked, they were like $100 or less. These are $120 MSRP, same as the Charizard one. But here's the thing. If they made as many of these as they're doing with the Charizard one, if not more, the price, I don't think, like, that's a good thing. You just, you don't want to have to be paid more than MSRP. MSRP. Like, 120 is the most you'd want to pay for these. But if the supply is crazy high, you can see them fall down to, like, 100 bucks. Um, it just, it really depends on supply. Gengar. I'd assume the demand, it's, it's kind of hard to say. The Charizard one, insane demand. It's Charizard. That's always going to be a winner. These ones, even though they don't have Charizard, it's 151. It's OG. It's classic. There's a lot, a lot of people that like the original stuff. I think these are probably going to be similar demand as the Charizard one. That would be my guess. So if they just have at least this, like around the same amount of supply as the Charizard one, uh, there you don't have to worry about having to pay more than MSRP. And I think I heard there's going to be a second wave of these too. That's the same thing that the Charizard UPC was. So I think I wouldn't worry about like these running out or anything like that. Um, all right, here we go. Last pack on our Pokemon 151 UPC Ultra Premium Collection box. Amazing product. Really happy to be able to open this up on the channel. And ending it with a Charizard EX. All right, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day. And I will see you on the next one.